great to be able to, to train dogs working with animals. Um, and that's our livestock team, also the machinery team. We use contractors for a lot of our work. Some of this, I can't drive these things, they're way beyond me. Um, there's computers in all of them, there's GPS, um, everything can be monitored. Uh, but for those that are machinery minded, there's a big career out there, not just in the engineering side, but the tractor driving, the, the coal mines. These bits of kits are worth hundreds of thousands of them. Um, and it's really exciting where it's all going. Right, a bit more give a time? Yeah, you're right. But I'll pinch you some of your time. Um, <laughs> right, um, can you pick one of those uh, occupations there and we'll talk a bit more about it? Uh, vet. Vet. <laughs> <laughs> one, right. Those are the guys that charge me far too much for <laughs> coming to see my cat and sheep. Um, so, our local vet, Lucy, she's fantastic, she's from Northern Ireland. And we were worked very closely with her. She did a wide and varied job. She deals with small animals, which but she doesn't enjoy. She doesn't like dealing with too many people. But she comes out and um, deals with us and helps us create our health plans. Our whole team, the shepherds, the stock managers, the cattle people, the all farm admin, they all buy into that, and we, we create a health plan together for our livestock. So she's a key part of our um, our team. Somebody else pick something else. Andy, pick another one, please. Stock manager. Stock manager. So um, that is some of the overseas, the, the shepherd and the cattle um, guys. They also work with them. But um, so Matt, for example, is a stock manager. Just came back from New Zealand. He's in the office, uh, potentially half a day, a day a week, um, or in the evenings. He's out there. He's managing grass. So we're growing grass. That's what we do for the stock side of things. We've got to grow grass. He's measuring grass. How much is it growing every day? How many kilograms of dry matter are there? It's quite technical, you don't just chuck sheep and cattle on the field, you're rotationally grazing the ground. Um, the output, the potential output of our farm just now, if we could have grassland management right, is massive. A big part of his role is uh, managing grass. Um, wages wise, package wise, stock manager is going to be, I'm not sure of events, I think they get paid too much, but they sure they don't. A stock manager um, could be on 40,000 plus house plus pickup. Um, a shepherd, could be very quickly on 20,000 plus house plus pickup. So if you're putting a house in at 6,000 and a pickup in at 4 or 5 a year, it's a pretty good package for somebody in their early 20s. Um, the money is there, the, the money is there. There are long hours, and we'll get away from the fact that they're long hours certain times a year. Am I going for another one? I'll keep going. Another one? Keep going. No, keep going. This is in your pack. You know about this. That's fine. Um, very similar. So that's in your pack as well. Don't probably go through that. Um, I'm just trying to wrap things up. This is Sheena Soska. Um, Sheena didn't come today because she wanted to get through more sheep work. Didn't give her the chance to come today, which is pretty besotted by her sheep. Um, <laughs> Sheena joined us, age 15, straight from Taylor Academy. Academy. Um, as she'll tell you herself, she's dyslexic. And, um, but work ethic, unbelievable. This is her in 2017 um, at the awards down. I didn't get to go, but um, <laughs> mum and dad went. Um, and she wasn't just agricultural apprentice of the year, she was agricultural learner of the year. So you think two slides ago when we had degree, she was, she beat all degree guys. Um, this is a girl from straight out of school, just blossomed. And she's one of those um, people that's on a really good package now. Um, she's got responsibilities, she's got a team of dogs. Um, and, you know, we need more guys like her coming in straight from school, um, but also going off and doing college courses and then coming back and getting involved. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how big the opportunities are that are out there. Um, I better finish, you'll be getting it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't end up yet. Um, thanks guys. Yep.